Hello. Today we're going to talk about the system browser. So in the start of the screen, we're going to go and pick up open, choose our project, I'm going to click open. My project comes or is set up in the 3D view. So we're going to scroll in the floor plan, let's pick the lighting plan and open it. Once open, we go. We can go in the view, view tab and click in the user interface and click in the sister browser. So what we can see, so the sister browser works similar as the project browser, but we have the ability to see every part of the MEP uh, systems more in detail. We can see we can see the mechanical. If we if we click here, we can see the mechanical. We can expand the the mechanical uh, diffusers. We can we can see how many how many systems we have or how many how many uh, ducts we have, how many piping we have, or how many devices we have in the electrical. If I go and by example click one. I can go ahead and it will show highlighted in my project, right? I go um, right click select and then show. It will actually show the location of that device. I can, I can go ahead and show it and will tell me. I can close it and go back to my project. This is very helpful because we can actually, um, if they're not, if we're not sure, we can we can pick it up from this more countable, right? We're not sure where the device is. Now, uh, if you can see, there's a an, another tab called on assign, right? These are elements that, although we know that are electrical or piping or mechanical. They haven't been assigned to a circuit or a room or a space. Well, either way, we can actually see. Let's pick up one, and it will show. Right click. It will show. Now, if it's not uh, available to see in my in in this view, it would Revit will show this this message. All open views that show highlighted elements. I already show searching through the closing view to find a good view will take a long time. We can go ahead and cancel that. Um, or we can go ahead in our in our plan in our, in our floor plan, we can select one, select this, and it will actually show right away the location of that element. If we go ahead and select another one. Select this. It's already highlighted. Now, if we see here the column settings, we actually can decide what we want to see, what tab we want to see, number of fold, voltage drops, length, system type. And we're going to see that. Right, so now if we click, like I said, we're gonna click this. Or by example, now that one is defined and we can see space number, the, where is it located? We can see all the device information. If you see this panel light that we highlighted, we can see actually, we can see the load, the voltage, we can see the type of, of uh, distribution system. We can see all the information. Um, the system browser is a, a, a really um, useful tool that Revit provides. Um, for, more, for more videos and more information, please uh, don't hesitate to check out uh, ATG YouTube channel and click the, the subscribe button and, and like. Thank you. Hey there, thanks for tuning in. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe. 
and check out some of the other content on our channel. 